my dad was Elvis. Elvis Presley. One of the top three in the southeast, anyway, and arguably the best value for money, especially in the winter when he'd slash his rate considerably. He didn't much look like him. His nose was too big and he was ginger, which I admit wasn't historically accurate and he would have made more money as Mick Hucknall. But the way he moved, I swear if you could see him move. I was a shy boy growing up. I found it hard to make small talk with him. But we had music in common. That was our smash glass here in case of emergency conversation. I was an MTV addict and I had been wholeheartedly indoctrinated into the cult of Michael Jackson. I was a paid up card carrying member. So he took Presley and I took Jackson and the King and the Prince of Pop would do battle all day. The greatest night of my life came when I was 10 years old. Now I know that may sound a little defeatist, but I don't really have much planned for my future. We had a talent show at school, lots of uh, cartwheels and juggling, but uh, I had been practicing for weeks. Michael Jackson, Billie Jean, on repeat. The headmaster calls my name and I get up on stage with my, my black hat and my white socks and my sequin jacket from Oxfam and the, the solo glove from the lost property bin. And my dad, he was there. The music drops and for four and a half minutes, I am the coolest kid in school. I'm the coolest kid on earth. And as we all run into our parents' arms afterwards, my dad holds my head in his hands. He holds it like something precious. We had something in common now, you see. We had a shared language. We were performers, entertainers. We had, oh, and he, he, and shamao, and thank you very much. He was the king, and I was the prince.